Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. My name is Leaf and it's so great that you guys are able to join me today as we talk about the potential future of Planet Coaster 2. Now you guys might be saying, Leaf, I thought you were a zoo person. Well, in fact I am. I mean, predominantly my entire channel is just Planet Zoo. But also, I dabbled in Planet Coaster a little bit. I dabbled before Planet Zoo came out. And while development for Planet Zoo seems to be nearing an end, Hypothetically, I am very much looking forward to the prospect of a new Planet series game coming out. But what do we know about Planet Coaster 2 so far? Well, first of all, we could probably imply that it will exist. If we take a look at what's on the screen right now, you'll see a little spoiler message. Uh, this is from the infamous image sharing board known as 4chan. Don't suggest you guys go on there looking for anything because you're really not going to find anything. But this was leaked so many years ago. Johnny, put that on the screen. Now, what was leaked over here is the fact that Planet Coaster 1 did get a Ghostbusters pack. Planet Zoo, under the name of Project Darwin, was currently in development and was later announced after this post was made. Jurassic World Evolution 2, otherwise known as Project Galileo, was also released. So, looking at number three on the list, Project Einstein, we could see that Planet Coaster is smack dab in the middle. Besides this, though, we are honestly kind of running on fumes. Some of the other stuff that the community noticed were different art positions that were posted by Frontier Developments themselves, looking for very specific animation, texturing, modeling jobs inside of Frontier Development Studios, which could imply that, you know, they probably need some more hands to work on a potential future or current game. With the last content for Planet Coaster officially being released in 2019 with the Ghostbusters pack, we have waited over four years for a new installment of this game. Seeing as Planet Zoo came out around the same time as the Ghostbusters pack as well, we could probably expect that by the time that Frontier finishes their development for Planet Zoo, which honestly I think is going to be soon for my own reasons, we could probably see Planet Coaster 2 being unveiled and start to be released. Now, that's really all the concrete information that we have so far. It's a lot of speculation and it's a lot of believing some very typically untrustworthy sources, but so far that leak has been proven correct and we can honestly just go forward with talking about what we could expect from a modern day Planet Coaster game. Now, Planet Zoo is the kind of testing ground for a lot of new features that the developers are bringing into the Cobra engine. And there's so many different awesome things that I think would make the Planet Coaster experience 10 times better. And I think we should talk a little bit about our top five features that we would want in here. Number one, I believe, would be weather. I think having your park have dynamic weather would be an incredible thing to have. Maybe even expanding upon the system that we already have in Planet Zoo. If we could have some weather effects take the form of fog, take the form of smog, take the form of rain, sleet, snow, all this awesome stuff. I think that would be a really awesome thing to have, especially given the fact that so many of these parks are open in winter time. It's a very interesting thing to see like, you know, coasters covered in snow and stuff when they aren't really operational at that point. I assume that the weather effects would kind of stop on the snow. Maybe it would be a cool feature where you have to have your keepers. What do you call a coaster keeper? I don't know. I'm a zoo person after all. But you would have staff, maintenance staff, come over and clean off your coasters from the snow as kind of like a little gameplay effect. Uh, you could have like guests be dynamically drawn to more flat rides and indoor rides when it's raining. You would see them go get ponchos and stuff like that. I feel like that'd be a really awesome mechanic to not only have in Planet Coaster 2, but further flesh out from what we currently have in Planet Zoo already. Number two on my list would be a new restaurant system for Planet Coaster. Now, I'm a Disney kid. I love my Disney experiences. I've been to a couple other theme parks as well, and I tend to love the ones that really treat food as it should be, that really give food the respect it deserves. When you have these nice sit-down restaurants, 
inside of these larger theme parks, it really helps create a much more finer experience. And if you are working in a theme park inside a Planet Coaster, I recall when I played, I would want to fill every single area with as much detail as possible. But it was always kind of sad if you have this big luncheon hall and no one's really sitting down to eat. With a new restaurant mechanic that was just recently released in Planet Zoo, it would be an incredible thing to have in here given the fact that it would bring such a new dimension to guests which are a key focal point to taking care of some person in Planet Coaster. I think the wide variety of food options as well could really help out Planet Coaster, which is a little sad because there's so many cool brands that the Frontier kind of has the rights to that still haven't made their way to Planet Zoo. Come on, guys. You guys should bring some of that stuff over to us, too. Beyond that, we just got a super awesome new tool in Update 1.14 for Planet Zoo, and that's now the Advanced Cinematic Camera. This allows you to kind of essentially create dollies going throughout your zoo, going throughout your parks really, and creating these beautiful dynamic camera lenses, these really beautiful dynamic scenes where you're just exploring your park from all different types of angles, all these different zooms, all these tilts. This would be an incredible thing to have first day in Planet Coaster. And I think that this is sort of what Planet Zoo team is working on, is kind of green lighting these features as they bring them over to a new game, which would eventually be Planet Coaster 2. The fourth feature is another one that was just recently introduced. This is the advanced move tool from Planet Zoo. Now, I personally struggled with Planet Coaster's building mechanics coming from Planet Zoo. I played Planet Coaster a little bit before Planet Zoo, but they have somehow nailed the controls in Planet Zoo. It's effortless to build a park in Planet Zoo. And I think that really comes down to all the incredible features that they've added on over time that I really think would go such a long way in creating these beautiful, diverse parks. And because of this, we need the tools to make it happen, be it the advanced move tools. You can see from this image right over here, not only can you drag items in one direction with the arrows, but also where those little boxes meet up. You can drag them along two axes, which allows for an incredible, incredible array for placement and really decorating your parks to the best of your ability. I think that this would be an incredible thing to have day one as well, just so you could get right in and start making the park of your dreams. And I'll say it, my fifth wish for Planet Coaster 2 would be water slides. Listen, I think that this would be a fine DLC as the absolute first one. With Planet Zoo, we lacked one of the essential zoo animals, which was the polar bear, but we got that in our day one DLC. Not really day one, but you guys know what I mean. It came relatively soon after that. Having water parks right there would be an incredible thing packages as a DLC. I'll happily pay for it, Frontier. I think that would be super fun to see. With that being said, though, thank you guys so much for stopping by. Do you guys think a Planet Coaster 2 is somewhere in the future? Let me know what your thoughts are. Let me know if you guys have any speculations. Do you think it's coming this year? Do you think it's coming next year? Do you think we'll even get news this year on it? Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for stopping by. Hope you guys have the most wonderful of wonderful days, and I can't wait to see you all in the next video. Bye-bye now.